It's Hobie. <laughs> Everybody, this is Go Geronimo, and today is just kind of a impromptu video because I've been working on this thing here, and I thought it would be cool to unveil. This is a form, and it's got a recurve bow in it, but the interesting thing is what I've used for the resin. It's this G-Flex epoxy, which I also use on my red oak bows. They're not cheap. It's not cheap. I think it's 20 something dollars for this. Um, I used maybe one fourth of each of these as a two part system. Uh, <coughs> it is a flexible resin basically, but let's see what the box says. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's a versatile liquid epoxy that permanently bonds fiberglass, ceramic, metal, and plastics. And down here, I'm going to skip some blah blah blah. Um, marine grade glue that can be accurately mixed in batches with a simple one to one. So it's saying it's a simple product. That's another intriguing thing that I like. Um, G Flex 650 adheres tenaciously to resinous woods and difficult to glue hardwoods. G Flex even bonds to wet woods. I mean, wow. <laughs> so it's got a 45 minute pot life with a 75 minute room temperature um, working time. And then it says it's, it's fully cured in about 7 to 10 hours and faster when it's uh, you use temperature, like uh, some type of a heat. Um, I just put it in one of my small bathrooms we don't use very often with a room heater and kept it at about 90, 90 degrees in there. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you because, hey, I don't know for sure if it'll work. And this is only my second bow I've ever tried to put in uh, this <clears throat> form here. I make a lot of wood bows and have not really made a recurve fiberglass bow yet successfully. Uh, I've used bow grip once and it didn't work out very great for me. I'm sure it wasn't the product's fault. I'm sure it was user error, but nevertheless, it didn't pan out. So, let's see what this one did. Because the first battle is opening this form, letting it out, and seeing if it actually holds its form, so. <clears throat> I will not bore you with this portion. We'll cut back to where I'm about to actually um, pull it off of this form, okay? Alright, so the only thing holding this thing on here now is this clamp. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a little scratchy throat today. Uh, but this bow basically was just a proof of concept. Uh, basically, I wanted to know if G-Flex would work. So there's no specific limb widths or any uh, thicknesses that I tried to put together to make a specific weight. I just threw a couple of limbs on here that I might made myself and I wanted to see if it would work. So really don't know what the outcome is going to be of the bow itself. But I'm going to go ahead and um, finish this bow and then when I have it out to shoot I will let you guys know if it worked or not. It may not even get to that point. I don't know. It may fail as soon as I lift this off. I did use saran wrap, <laughs> but it seems to have stuck anyways. Alright. Just a piece of wood to put over the top. Well, this portion is. Alright, so far it's actually holding. So that's pretty awesome. Um, 
like I said, I want to uh, put it together, finish it up, string it up, and shoot it. If all of that happens well, I'll let you know, and I'll show you. If it doesn't, I'll still let you know, hey, don't get this stuff for it. Don't get G-Flex, but hopefully it'll work just fine. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, bye. Keep it. Ooh, look, it's holding, it's holding. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you could be nicer if you're asking. Restart. No.